If you haven't been out on the water yet this summer, today may be the perfect day to do some fishing since it's National Fishing Day. And the Valley Today's Abby Furchner has posted the Gone Fishing sign by her desk this morning, and she <laughs> joins us live from Lakes Country. How's it going out there, Abby? Hi, good morning, Jordan and Lisa. We were on the boat, but we had some technical difficulties, so we had to come back to the dock. But who says you can't fish from a dock and get some sunnies and some fish here? Because we have seen it happen. Theo, who is with us this morning, he's caught a ton of fish already. So we're going to try to do that here on TV. But first, before we start casting, let's talk about what we have going on here. I know we have a couple different things on our line. We're going to start off with the bobber stop again so the bobber has a designated spot depth that it can set the bait to. A couple sinkers that give us weight to throw it out. We've got a plain hook and a, min a worm on there. And one of the secrets that I've learned is always to make sure, I learned that when I was a little boy, to keep the worm, the bait, on the tip of the hook. If you don't have it on the tip of the hook and it's over here wiggling, you're going to have them biting over here. Yeah. So keep it on the tip. And uh, it'll it'll go good for you. Here. And I know we were also showing a, um, a minnow on a hook, and now mm -hmm. we have a worm. Is there a difference in what fish you're going to catch when it comes to the different kinds of bait? The minnows we have are larger. They would be more for a walleye size, bass, northern. And right now we're going to keep it simple, keep it small. You don't have to catch <laughs> big fish to have fun. Just got to catch fish. And we're here to catch fish today. So here we go. Abby, you ready? Absolutely. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to... Hand you the mic. We'll kind of keep it in the middle of us. So. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna show. You're gonna show me how to cast. So. Yep. Get okay. the line to the top. Bring the line to the top. You've done that. Hold it with your finger, okay. and roll the bail over. Okay. And now you're ready to let her out. You don't have to go very far either. Oh, as I just like <laughs> <laughs> That's launched fine. it. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, and They're then all just... along here. And I know too when it comes to. Um, reeling, you can either go really fast or you can go slow. Does that depend on anything at all? With this live bait and a worm, we want to let it sit in front of the sunfish for a little moment and give them a little time to look at it. Okay. And they'll bite it, and then we can keep. If it don't, if they don't bite right there, bring it in another two feet. Oh, you are getting a little. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, oh we, no, I got too excited. <laughs> that's right. Unfortunately, these are little fish, and so I've got a little bit bigger hook trying to get the bigger fish and it's a little harder for them to pull it in but they will get it in you will get a fish oh i'm i haven't been having as good as as good as luck as i would hope oh, there's for another bite. i get like so excited i'm like there it is uh just yeah no, oh man again. sorry <laughs> <laughs> well we're gonna try here to continue to try and catch a fish hopefully i can get one and send a picture back so we'll we'll try to get one here on national fishing day well, that's why people spend the whole day out on the lake. Fishing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think she also just gets a little excited and maybe tries to reel them in a bit quick. But I'm sure it'll work out for you. Abby Furchner reporting in Lakes Country. Thank you very much this morning.